Did you know in the United States, one in five students ages 12 to 18 have been bullied during the school year? A lot of people might not know this about me, but I had a huge bullying problem growing up. My biggest dream as a kid was to make videos, make people happy, play video games professionally, and just be a YouTuber. Back in the day, it wasn't cool to be a gamer, it wasn't cool to be a YouTuber, and for that, people would torment me and make fun of me every single day and try to make me give up on my own dreams. I don't want to make this about me at all, but I just want to let you guys know that if you do trust yourself and block out all the negative comments, all the haters, and all the bullies out there, you can and you will make your dreams come true. I'm extremely grateful for you guys because not only did you allow me to prove people wrong, but you all gave me a chance to express who I really am through making videos. And for that, I am forever grateful. That's why I use my platform to spread positivity and raise awareness on any topics that I feel like need more attention like bullying. Recently, I found out through my girlfriend that her little sister has been being bullied at school for a while now, and she's only 10 years old. It's truly mind-blowing to me that people that young in elementary school are getting bullied, which is why I'm making this video because I'm going to be interviewing Kennedy. That's her name. I've met her in the past before, and she never told me about the bullying situation because she was a little bit nervous. She actually watches my videos, so I appreciate that. I really wanted to interview her and kind of get in her head and see how she deals with it or if she does deal with it and if you guys also have any advice if you can leave it down below in the comment section I'm sure there's some people out there who need this advice you can definitely be helping someone so I got permission from Kennedy's parents for her to be in the video and share her story and hopefully that will reach out to some of you guys because maybe some of you can relate but I was just gonna ask if maybe we can all come together as a community spread love be positive I know you guys you guys are one of the greatest fan bases ever so if we can all come together maybe in the comment section down below just show some love go compliment someone out in public not only through the internet but just be nice spread love there's no point in being mean there's it just makes me so mad that there's people out there there's kids under the age of 10 who get bullied and it's just it just makes me so mad this topic is so sensitive to me so right now we're gonna go meet Kennedy interview her and let her share her story Let's go. Okay guys, so I'm here with Kennedy. She's 10 years old, and if you wanna tell the Rugrats a little bit about yourself and what you like to do. Okay, I'm, like you said, I'm 10. My favorite color is red. Things I'm into, I'm really into like makeup and hair stuff and like things like that. And you're in fourth grade? Yeah. Oh, okay. So your sister told me that you've been having problems at school lately. I don't know if it's been lately or just it's an ongoing issue, but if you kind of want to explain like what's been happening. Yeah, well, there's this one kid. He's not the nicest kid to me. He said things about my appearance that haven't been the nicest. Yeah, he's just not the, he's just not nice. Not me. nice at all? No. Like he's called you names and stuff? Yeah mean names. <laughs> uh, you don't have to get into it or anything, but how long has this been going on for? It's like periods. Just anytime he wants to be mean? Yeah. He probably just thinks that he's above everyone else and like he, yeah. he I feel like there it, are people who are like kind of scared to tell him that he's being mean so they kind of like follow in his footsteps. Oh that kind of sounds familiar like I feel like that there's always like that one kid in school that's like that people always want to try to be like him because they're like oh they think he's the cool kid but mm -hmm. in reality he's hurting people with all these words that he's telling you and stuff mm -hmm. like how does that make you feel? It, ju it's, it makes me feel bad because then I start to look down on myself and I know that I shouldn't because I'm perfect the way I am but exactly. some of the things he says just really gets to me sometimes Yeah, and it just doesn't feel the best <laughs> no yeah of course I mean like also I don't know if this could like relate in any way but even on the internet people always get hate comments and stuff like yeah. that and even myself like when I first started doing YouTube I used to get a lot of hate comments and I used to let them get to me why should I even care about what random people yeah. say like he like the person that's bullying you has nothing to do with your life he's not gonna be a part of your life or anything Thing. I know it's like hard to ignore it and stuff and to like not listen to him, but I don't know I just think that and before when it was like little stuff I just let it go because I don't want to care but two of the really mean comments He said those are the ones that got to me. Do you want to share those two comments or do you think they're like um, too bad? one of them he told me you have no friends but your stomach and He said that he's better than me at everything except for being fat and it's just like so Why? he's he's calling you fat? Yeah. Are you kidding? First off, you're nowhere near fat. You're perfect, like the way you are, like you, you said. Yeah, of course. Like, that's just horrible. Like, body shaming is, like, one of the worst things that people could do. Mm -hmm. And it's not just him. Other people who's, like, said mean things about my appearance. And it's just like, why? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah, what, like, I think it actually makes them feel good about themselves because they're insecure about their appearance. Like, they're probably insecure. And when they put someone 
someone else down, I feel like it brings them up, which is super wrong. Yeah. But um, is there any way you cope with it? Do you just ignore it or? I ignore it, but those two times I had to remind myself that I'm perfect. Uh huh. Even if sometimes it doesn't feel that way, I, I have to remember that I am. Yeah. And that maybe something is going on with him that's making him feel better to put other people down. So I have to think about that before I say anything back. Yeah. That's yeah, really, just... that's really, really, really mature of you. I just want to say that for you to like hold yourself and not say anything back to him because you're thinking about what he's going through. Like that's actually very mature of you. I just want to give you that for sure. Thank you. Yeah, of course. I wish we could like get inside the head of a bully, but with like research and stuff i've seen that they just deal with a lot of problems at home which shouldn't be an excuse to bring others down of course because you never know what you could be going through and what mm -hmm. other people could be going through and it could cause people to do really bad things it's obviously been an issue for like a very long time but yeah like just yesterday he said something to me he said um i look like i have autism it's just like are you serious yeah it's like that's horrible even people who are unique and I won't even say like weird, like unique. We're all people. Exactly. We all have feelings. We all deal with things different ways. Yeah. We're perfect. We're like, all it's... humans. You're a human. He's a human. And we should all be treated the same, even if we have differences. Yeah. You know? And lastly, is there any advice or tips you could give to anyone out there that's actually being bullied and has been in your position? Any ways that you can cope with it? Yeah. I think you guys should just remember that you're perfect and not let it get to you because and I'm not saying words hurt because they really, they really do. Just remember that no matter what anyone says, as long as you feel confident and you feel good about yourself, then who cares what they say? Exactly. Those are some great words. Thank you so much, Hannah. Yeah. You're the best. Thank you. Can I get a hug? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're the best. So now that you guys have heard what's been going on in Kennedy's life and her advice that she gave to you guys, I think it's time to have some fun. I want to take you for a little shopping spree. <sighs> Seriously? Yeah, how does that sound? It sounds amazing. Thank okay, you. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> okay, also, have you ever seen what a 10 million plaque looks like from no. YouTube? Do you want to see it? Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this paint wasn't there. We hydro dipped this. That's so cool. And it has like my name right here, Faze Rug. Congrats on surpassing 10 million subs. Oh my god. Do you want to hold it? It's kind of heavy. Break it. No, 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 you won't. Just hold on to it tight. Isn't that well, crazy? It is heavy. It's like a weight. Uh huh. <laughs> it's so nice. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Hey, one day maybe you could have 10 million subscribers. <laughs> she said that she's actually into TikTok, so we're gonna have to make a TikTok by the end of this video. <laughs> like, I love TikTok and I wanna help you with a TikTok. Cool. Thanks. But, like, you have to teach me the dances, cause, like, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> like, you know how to do one? Okay, do one on the spot right now. You got this. Okay. Whoa, what's this? Whoa, okay. <laughs> Whoa, what? <laughs> is it awkward without the song? Yeah. It is. <laughs> okay, we're probably gonna make that TikTok later on, but. All right, it's time to go to Best Buy, and we're gonna go grab some stuff for Kennedy. Have you ever seen a Lamborghini? No, this is the first. No way. Oh my gosh, it is perfect. You like it? Yeah. Hey, Dad. This is Kennedy. She hey. loves the Lambo. Oh, it's you love the Lambo? Amazing. You want to sit in the Lambo? Yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead, go ahead. Kennedy, okay, nice, nice to meet you. Me. Oh. Isn't that hard to get in? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I just look so cool in this. That's so cool. We need to take you a picture in this for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, look at this. We're matching, baby. I got the black, you got the gray. We look good. Turn around. Dang. Can you see the light? I can see the light. Do you have any idea of what you want from Best Buy? Because you can basically just choose anything. You can no, buy. I don't have an idea. Okay, we'll find out. Starting off with a pop socket, you know, something light. Mine is like, my case is like teal. What do you okay. think would go good with teal? I think. Oh, this is cute. Ooh, I like that. Oh, this one. Would that go good with teal? I think I like this one with the flower. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, Item nice. number one, pop socket. <laughs> I say we should go towards the electronics. Okay. Have you ever had a Nintendo Switch? No, but I'm... You, you're not into like not video really. games and stuff? No. Okay, okay. All right. I'm not trying to be picky or anything. Oh, no, no, try. don't worry. The, this day is all about you. <laughs> so like you could choose anything you want. A speaker, um, a fridge, uh, <laughs> yeah, anything. A TV. Ooh. 
Okay, you said you wanted a Polaroid? Mm -hmm. I actually have one on my Hydro Flask. Oh, for I real? I really like Polaroids. No yeah. way? Okay. Uh, which one's good? I think like one of these is good, right? Noah, um, you're a camera guy. Uh, let me see. <laughs> yeah, top of the line. Yeah, Kennedy's coming for your life. I know. Okay. <laughs> hey, don't take my job, please. <laughs> no, I think like one day she'll be my filmer. Sorry, <laughs> Here, you, you can just help hold it for now. Yeah, there you go. Let's see how you're gonna film. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Faze Rug. And we, dude, she's doing good. Dude. Is it heavy? Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> what are the different selections? Um, we have the space gray, which is this color. Um, the gold, which is gonna be this Ooh. color with Ooh, the white that's bezel. Pretty. Um, that's the only one. With the black. Yeah, gold, I like the gold. gold. Guys, she needs an iPad for school. <laughs> so she said, you said you need Duolingo. What yeah. is that? Is that a school app? Mm, it's not a school app, but it's helping me. My all my friends are uh, Mexican, so they speak Spanish, but they also speak English. So I'm trying to learn from them. So that whoa, would that's actually help. cool. Yeah, yeah, this iPad will definitely help. So we got her an iPad for school with a keyboard in case you need to like type essays and mm -hmm. stuff. Wait, do you guys do essays in elementary? Yeah. Yeah, Are you serious? Uh, like, I'm in the middle of an essay right now. Dude, my first essay was like high school. Oh, well, the one that I first like did. Oh, what is that supposed to mean? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? No, I'm, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm oh. Just kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. This is like the biggest item for sure. Your total is going to be $897.17. Okay, uh, do you have your card? Oh, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I was gonna say. I'm just, just kidding. Huh? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go through everything Kennedy just got. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, we got the iPad. Uh, is oh. there like a certain name? iPad. This is, this is the iPad. No, that's a keyboard. Oh. The iPad, the keyboard for school, and then we got this, I think it's called like the magic pencil that you use on the iPad. Mm -hmm. So you could like write and stuff on it. So that's pretty dope. Hopefully it comes with like 0.7 lead or something. <laughs> and then we got a pop socket. It's beautiful. We got a Polaroid and she said that there's like a picture contest going yeah, on. I'll be able to win maybe. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. With this, you're gonna win. And then we got extra film for her. And last but not least, AirPods. Oh my goodness. She seemed so excited about these. So <laughs> which one of all these is your favorite? I mean, not to pick i mean like i know you're grateful all my favorite i like the airpods and the polaroid camera Ooh, nice okay so kennedy how are you enjoying your day so far i am having an awesome day and i really appreciate everything that you've been doing for me today oh of course no this is super super fun i'm enjoying it kennedy so uh you said your favorite color is red right yeah well let me show you something ready look at the lights Oh my goodness! Ain't that the coolest, huh? I like that! <laughs> yeah, no, don't worry, I got you. <laughs> don't ever say that again. <laughs> what? Ain't that the coolest? Dude! You're not a, you sound like a dad. Ain't that the coolest, huh? Alright, Brian, where are we headed to? So, we are heading over to Kennedy's house, and we are going to meet with her dad. And we're actually gonna interview her father and ask him some questions about how he copes with his daughter, like, being called mean names, being bullied at school, and, you know, just talk to him and see if he has any advice for any parents out there dealing with the same thing. I'm having an amazing day with Kennedy and this video is more or less to spread awareness towards bullying. I know like this video isn't going to end bullying, but any action that I could take with my platform to like at least make it better, I always will do it. Kennedy, I love you. Love you too, Brian. Uh, thank you. <laughs> okay guys, so we are here with Kennedy's father, Dwayne, and I want to ask you a few questions about this. I was gonna ask like, how do you as a father like cope with uh, when your kid comes home and she says she's been bullied? What's your like first reaction? Your first reaction as a dad, especially a daughter, is anger. Of course. Um, you want it to stop. You want it to be something that goes away immediately. You know in life, everything's not always good. Yeah. So it's part of life. You gotta go through it sometimes. You have to figure out the best way to handle it. Very proud of Kennedy going to a counselor at school. Oh, she went to a counselor? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she went to a counselor and that's when she finds out being bullied. And so she didn't even know what, what was going on. Yeah. Like she yeah. didn't know she was being bullied? Right. The first reaction is anger. But then all I want to do is give my kid a hug. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's you like wanna you just want to, yeah, you want to comfort them and then you want to come up with a plan. You sit down and you think about it. You discuss with the counselor what's going to happen next and you go forward. It's gotten to a point where, like we discussed earlier, it, it just is getting so bad. Yeah. It's so bad that it's leading kids to want to end their life. At such a young age too, it's just That's unreal. Mind boggling. There's people like under the age of 10 that go through bullying and actually say, I want to die. Like I no longer want to be on this earth. That blows is... me away that 
a kid under 10 even knows what that means. That's what I'm saying. It, it's like... The innocence is, like, smashed. Yeah. There is none. No kid should ever have to think like an adult. So is there any advice as a parent that you could give to other parents that are dealing with their kid being bullied at school? Yeah, listen to what they have to say. Listen to your kid. Hear what they have to say. Let them say what they need to say. And then work with the other parent at the school. Get involved. Don't let it go. Oh, because sure. if you let it go, there's no telling what's going to happen. Exactly. You know, it's going to snowball. It's yeah. going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So ultimately, I would say just to uh, listen to your kid and form a plan. I just want to say like Kennedy is a very smart girl. Like I interviewed her earlier. Like her responses blew me away. I was like, she's 10 years old. I know. No, she's very it's, smart. It's shocking. Yeah, it's, no. it's shocking to me. It's it's like she gets that from her mom. Yeah. <laughs> But hey, I respect you so much. Yeah, thank, you. thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. And uh, yeah, we hope that this advice helped you guys. Ken, you made me something? Yeah, I made you and Kaylin a present. I made you a Lakers. No way. Bracelet. Whoa, look at this. Yeah. This is a rubber band bracelet? Yeah. Ooh, yellow and purple for Kobe. All right, I'm going to be wearing this from now on. Okay. I like it. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you I for giving me this you. opportunity. I really appreciate it. Oh, of course. Okay, guys, we're going to end the video there. I hope you all did enjoy. Thank you so much, Kennedy, yeah. for coming on here and telling your story and hopefully the bullying will stop at school that's yeah. the whole goal yeah. of course and to anyone out there who's getting bullied right now just know that you're never alone uh, you can talk to a parent a teacher counselor friend anybody that you know you're not alone whatsoever someone is always out there to listen and we just hope this video spread a positive message and it raised awareness towards bullying we hope you have a great rest of your day and i love you guys so much and do you have any last words to the rugrats um hi <laughs> okay, peace out guys. Lambo. I'm so hot I need a fan on In Diego in the sando Walk around in Gucci sandals Gucci G Wagon I pull up like skirts And I put that Louis V on my shirt Baking down me cause I know my word